actually see your screen? It's gray right now. I haven't loaded the game. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, did I do something wrong? Did I do that? Did I do that? Did I do that? How about now? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> caffeine! I must load caffeine. Caffeine. I got caffeine. I drank a Red Bull. Ow! I don't usually drink Red Bull because I think it's kind of gross. See, I unfortunately like the way it tastes. I just, like, can't drink that much caffeine or I will have a bad time. One of the people that worked for me at Target, he would go crazy if there weren't blueberry Red Bulls. That's so specific. They had to be stocked every day. Whoa. Good guy. Every... But, man, that's kind of quirky. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> uh, the flavor I had was watermelon. Interesting. I've never uh, even seen that before, I don't think. That might be a new one. It came in the box for... Not, I almost said HelloFresh. It's every plate. You know, one of those mm. meal delivery services. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It came in a box in there, and they've sent me drinks before. They sent me an Arizona green tea. Arizona what? green tea? I think it was... No, it was Gold Peak. It was a Gold Peak tea, but it was peach tea. Okay. It was delicious. So... Well, a gold peach tea. Yeah. So they're probably just contracted to get all these samplers and then send them out. I mean, hey, that's cool. Free stuff. That's my guess. I'll oh. take free stuff anytime. Free send stuff. it to me. Free stuff. Free stuff. Free stuff. Speaking of what's not free... Hmm. What's everything. Free? <laughs> Is it Bill's time already? <laughs> Time to pay no. some bills. No, not yet. It's time for me to have been like, man, I would like some marijuana today. <laughs> and then being like, well, I we gotta wait another week for that. <laughs> Can't really afford it. So I, I haven't looked into it. How much is it? Um, I, I'm sh it, I have no idea or, or I just do edibles. So I don't have any insight into, like, vape pens or, like, well, concentrates would... or actual flour at all. I have no idea. We would only do edibles if we were to venture into it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, so... Are, are you getting it from a dispensary or do you know a guy? No, I get it from a dispensary. There are okay. two that I like. One is I like because it they have a nice simple system and it's also like a, only a 20 minute walk from me and then oh, the other cool. place is cheaper but i have to drive to evanston and i don't want to do oh, that nice. a lot so oh, thank you yeah there are other ones but those are the ones i go to yeah i was gonna say there's one that i can think of that's on clark that there's always yeah, a the line one. on oh really yeah i usually just go at weird times because <laughs> otherwise there's a line suck yeah I want that. I'm trying to think where the I other like one that. I've seen. The other one is somewhere in Lakeview. And I can't remember where. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. There, I think I know what you're talking about. I know I've, like, seen it on Google Maps, but I don't know if I've seen it on IRL. I think there's a couple on Damon as well. That's, you know, down the street. Mm. Like, way down the street from where I am, but whatever. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so... How much are the ones that you do get? <laughs> For my reference, because uh, I have no experience in it, and if I were to go in there, I would be holding up the whole store like, what is this? What is this? I'd be like the Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas version of, of the <laughs> I was marijuana. just gonna what's say this? that! What's this? There's what's green this? stuff everywhere! What's this? Uh, it... I, want I, I suddenly my feel hair. my hair! <laughs> yes. Um, there. So, like, one tin of, like, okay, so edibles, like, 
at, at least at Dispensary 33, which is the one on Clark, mm -hmm. you can get like a little tin or container. Usually each container of edibles, if they're just straight up, like if they're not like higher CBD ratio or whatever, if they're just like straight up wed, <laughs> they will be around 100 uh, milligrams of THC per container. And that can be divvied up in like several ways. Like sometimes it's like, here is a package of five caramels. So each caramel is 20 milligrams and that is not something I can do. That's too high dosage for me. Um, oh, okay. So I usually do like, like packs of 20 for each little, little whatever they are, like square of thing or gummy or mint thing is uh, five milligrams. That is more my speed. But each of those can range from like thirty six to like forty eight dollars. Oh wow! Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a paycheck kind of uh, splurge. <laughs> yep. Yep. Which Wait is why I'm waiting. The one in Evanston is cheaper, but again, it's in Evanston, so you know, pick what, your though, poison. The way that I look at it is that I've had takeout meals that cost that much. Really? So I mean, it's just like a takeout meal. That's very true. That is a good way of looking at it. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Brown. I usually go like once a month ish. Yeah, you know that's probably good. Like you shouldn't be going out to eat like every day, but like once a yeah. week or once a month, that's totally moderate. Yeah. I'd say that's good. Hmm. That's a good rate of eating. That's a good meatball. That's a spicy, that's a good rate of eating. It's like a snake you eat once a month. <laughs> and then you sleep the rest of that time. Which I wish I could do. I want to do that. Oh man, I would love to do that. I should be a snake. Like a great... I should digivolve into a snake. <laughs> <laughs> and go for it. <laughs> I'd like to see digivolve you Digivolve to Snake Mom! <laughs> digivolve <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> that would be all I do. Starbuck! <laughs> like, wait, you're a Pokemon! Sorry! And then he... <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> uh, that's real good. Message Sir Jacques. And he's not said anything yet. <gasps> How dare he! <laughs> that's okay. Ooh, that was a good ring wraith scream. <laughs> Thank you. It felt probably not great for my throat, so I'm Great. not going to do it again. You haven't even started voice acting yet today. I know, it's so bad. Also, I... The, those muffin cupcakes are just too sweet, so my throat feels, like, dry because of those. Just drink a ton it's of like... water. Ugh! I have a jar next to me that holds a liter of water, and I've a already drank half of it. So. A liter of cola! A liter of Fago. <laughs> you know what? I haven't had Fago, so I shouldn't be like, Ugh, Fago. gross. I have no idea what it tastes like. I, I'm also curious as to what Ribena tastes like. Ribena. <laughs> Ribena. I don't know either. I, I know it's a thing <laughs> somewhere. I've seen it. I've seen people make jokes about it. I just think it sounds like, like a cough medicine. What, Fago? You know what I mean? No, no, Ribena. Oh, like, Ribena. that name sounds like cough medicine. Ribena. And also, yeah, and also you can say it funny. So that makes it cool, too. Well, I only Ribena. know it from, uh, from Oni Plays and the... Them saying <laughs> in Kingdom Hearts, R Riku has turned into Ribena. <laughs> <laughs> He's become Rabiku. Rabiku. I forgot about that. <laughs> I watched too much of, the, of that shit. Uh, okay, well, I mean, get some water, and, um, I don't know, I, I could talk about FIV for a minute. Do it! Whatever, whatever boats your float, whatever boats, makes you happy. Wh whatever bounces your cookie. <laughs> whatever <laughs> bounces your bounce castle. <laughs> whatever browns your town. 
Is that from something? No, I have no idea. I just like, thought of the first word I could think of and rhymed it. Whatever browns your town. I like that <laughs> so much. Why is brown the funniest color? Because it's the color of poop and people think, ha ha, poop. <laughs> ha ha, poopy. <laughs> And then right. they think the. Uh oh. I think I did a poopy. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <gasps> the uh oh stinky meme? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm not familiar with this particular meme. It's. I don't even know when it's from. A couple years ago, maybe? But it's like this picture of an orangutan and it looks at the video and it slowly zooms in on his face and it's this guy going oh oh stinky poopy <laughs> poop ha ha la 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 oh poop funny <gasps> I think I made a poopy <laughs> and you can like hear him like pretending and then and like fake laughing and then you slowly like hear him like losing his mind and then he's <laughs> Starts actually laughing, and it just is zooming in on this orangutan the whole time. It's really, it's really good. It's kind of frightening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is borderline scary. I don't know yeah, if I want that. Someone... <laughs> someone made a British version of it too. Like, uh oh, Dinky. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yep. And the monkey wearing a bowler hat in that one, which is a nice touch. Like, like a fence. badly photoshopped bowler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> I'll go <Stinky>. make poopy! <laughs> I just made a poopy! Poop funny! See, the British version wouldn't scare me as much. Yeah, you'd be like, haha, look, the money- <laughs> the money. The money wear a hat! The money wear a hat! <laughs> look at the funny money! You would to look at the funny money! <laughs> I want some funny money. Mm, I don't know if you do. It might not actually <laughs> exist. <laughs> you, you, tr you try <laughs> to pay you your uh, for your soda at the 7-Eleven, and it just disappears. Where's my funny money? And then they and call then the I cops hear... on you. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of the money in the fifth dimension. And then, yeah, they do call the cops on me. Yeah. Because they're like, the fifth dimension doesn't exist! And I'm like, yeah, it does! And then they open, they pull back my mask and pour the slushy in there, and then they snap my mask back on my face. <laughs> and then they're like, go outside and sit on the curb until the police come and get you. And I'm like, okay. And then they, they fire their shotgun at you, and your bill spins around oh! your face. Yeah, actually, yeah. And you go, that's made for! And then I put on a bowler hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I say, old chap, this is poor. I say, this is very rude. <laughs> I can't believe all your distinguished gentlemen have been treated like this at the 7 Eleven. <laughs> Meanwhile, in reality, you're just on the ground foaming at the mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it did that. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. That's the way of the brown towns. <laughs> that is the way the brown towns. Oh, okay. No response from Jacques yet, so uh, nope. we'll just uh, we'll just go right into the the promos and stuff. Um, we'll just do it. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do it. Okay, so. <clears throat> Hopefully this is recording now, because last time it didn't Ooh. record correctly, but it, as long as it's recording now, then everything's okay. Um, all of April, Ooh. we are going to be talking about FIV, which is Feline Immunodeficiency Virus. It is a retrovirus infection uh, in cats, and cats only. So, what is this stuff? Uh, it's basically HIV or AIDS, as we find in humans. Uh, the virus targets the white blood cells in a cat so their immune system tends to be compromised and uh, they they get weakened over the years and that means they become vulnerable to infections and diseases and stuff so does that necessarily mean that the cat has a terrible chance of living no that is not true uh, it is a myth that a cat with fiv has no chance of living 
we have a cat that has FIV and she's healthier than most of us. Uh, she will probably kick mm. your ass if she were in a kung fu fight with you. Because she's no. a bitch like that. Anyway, um, okay, so what are some signs that your cat may have FIV? So you're going to be looking for a poor coat condition, uh, a fever that keeps coming back, lack of appetite, inflammation in their mouth and gums, if it's pinkish, if it's reddish, uh, if it just doesn't look right, uh, chronic or recurring infections in eyes, skin, upper respiratory tract, or bladder. Obviously, these are all things that you would be taking them to the vet for in the first place, but if you see that a lot of these things keep coming back, that may be a sign that your cat has FIV. Uh, also look for constant diarrhea, persistent eye problems, seizures, behavioral changes, and signs of neurological disorders if your cat has a wobbly catness to them, or uh, they just don't seem to be moving around correctly. They have little quirks here and there. That may be a sign that they have FIV. So, um, also want to look out for steady weight loss. Um, that may be a, a major thing. And of course, they may develop cancer or blood disease as a result of FIV. So what can you do? Get them tested as soon as you can. There's uh, like a three test sort of process to it. So they have a standard test that most vets and clinics and even shelters have that bases, basically tests for the antigens and the antibodies with FIV to see if there's any sort of immediate reaction. And they can say, yes, there may be FIV in this cat or no, there's definitely no sign of FIV in here. But if it says yes, then they will have to be sent off to a second test that is more thorough and possibly a third test that is even more thorough. It's not cut and dry with the way that you test for FIV, just because it's just one of those weird conditions that uh, is very specific. It's a retrovirus. Anyway, is there a vaccine for FIV? No. Little do you know, there, there used to be a vaccine, but they took that off what? the market because it was causing false flags in uh, cats that got it. So why did they take it off the market? Think about it. If you have a false negative, a false positive for um, a cat that you picked up off the street, uh, most of those cats that get tested for FIV and they get diagnosed with FIV are euthanized immediately. So if cats get this false positive of FIV, a lot of them are going to get wrongly euthanized, even if they're shelter cats or um, if people own them. Since people don't fully understand how FIV works, they, they just think it's a death sentence. So they took that vaccine off the market. Uh, it, it wasn't really proven to work in the first place, so it's not a lot of reliability to it. But with that in mind, um, there is no vaccine. You can only test for this kind of condition, and uh, you can really only treat the symptoms as they occur and keep your cat as healthy as possible. That means fantastic diet, um, keeping them sharp, healthy, exercised, stuff that you should be doing with your cat anyway. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much how it is with FIV. They, they live long, healthy lives. You just got to keep a, a close eye on their conditions and their diet eating habits, all that stuff. But they, they're just like any other cats. They just have something special about them. Yeah. That and is that, wild about the vaccine specifically. Right? Right? That is so crazy. Poor kitties. Uh, it says Jack, he is on somewhere. I'm here. Hi, Jack. Hello. Hello. Hello, you. Hello! How are you, buddy? Good, how are you? Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Trying to make sure your volume's good. Go ahead and tell us about your day, Jack. Oh, uh, my day was work. It was busy. <laughs> and then I came home and took a fat nap. A fat nap? Yeah. Big fat nap. Is that like a dirt nap? No, it's like pH fat. It's pretty cool. Mm. You have a PhD in napping. PhD in fat. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like PhD yeah. in fap. In fat. In the fappening. Oh uh, no. 
<laughs> no. No, not no, me. not that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> It was like you turned on the TV and saw the purge was happening. No. No. <laughs> not the happening. The happening. <laughs> Would you guys be excited if you saw the purge happening on TV, though? No. No. Because we're not very secure. <laughs> I'd be terrified. Would you go out and get something? <laughs> no. No. I mean, just watching no. the riots in the Capitol, I was freaking out. Yeah, you know, it's, that's true. You don't know what people are capable of. Very true. So, don't. I I think there is a good number of people that would stay home and like just be defensive about it if the purge was happening at this time. So, I think only a few people would pretty much go out and try and do stuff. But that yeah. might be me being optimistic, right. you know. Then it's yeah, yeah. I would. The only thing I would want to do is just like go get a bunch of like, I don't know, like cool clothes or get or go. There's like a rock shop down the street, and I would just yeah. like their expensive rocks and then resell them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant rock shop as in like rocker rock gear. Rock yeah. Rock and roll. No. Are, you, are you talking like a mineralogist? <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I love it there. But I could also, I could see myself in a purge situation, just taking a bunch of those rocks and reselling them. But it also wouldn't, but I wouldn't do that because this is going to be <laughs> a bubble in, by anyone. I would not, I must say, I would not actually do that in real IRL. <laughs> Only in a purge situation. Sure? And then I probably wouldn't go outside because IRL. it would be scary. I still don't think I would take the risk because, well, I can't run very quickly and I'm not very strong. So if someone was out there just to kill someone, I would be in a, right. a, an easy target. They would just, I would be the one guy that dies and then, then my killer would be, no. like, oh, okay, I'm done for the night. No. <laughs> so I ended up being dead for nothing. Yeah, I would be just trying to rob like a shit ton of hamburgers or something, and <laughs> just trying to get some tacos and uh, end up being killed in the purge first night. No, no thanks. That's something I think you forget about too. It's like the purge; like everyone automatically is like, "Oh yeah, like let's go like steal some like cool electronics or clothes or whatever or food." And, yeah. like, you forget that some people would probably be like, I just want to kill someone. It's true. And the thing or is, the people were just like, I'm just going to go jaywalk down the street. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're going to live me, like Dad? rebels and jaywalk. I think that's you, Dad. <laughs> that's me. Walking down the street. Not at a crosswalk. Walking down the street, smiling at people that you meet. <laughs> be like, hey, okay, it's when the you're walking down the street. You say, and I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Say, so, hey, watch out. It's the purge. Hey, it's the purge, you know. <laughs> it's that thing that's happening. Saying curse words <laughs> that you can't say in real life, like fiddlesticks. Yep. Yeah. Downloading some illegal music. <laughs> you download Napster <laughs> for a day. Yeah, download Napster. Yep. <laughs> hey, I like the implication. <laughs> I like the implication that it's you're not illegally downloading music, you're downloading illegal music. <laughs> Your music's not allowed. It's yeah. banned. <laughs> I, mean, just... I, I don't I don't remember what all we did. So I'm just I'm just gonna be clicking stuff here yeah. and examine just to make sure that we're if if I remember correctly, we need to go to the police department, but I wanna double check and make sure everything is good here. Did we talk to Miss Andrews? Um did no we haven't seen her in a while we did see yes. her but we haven't seen her since the robbery since the robbery the robbery <laughs> right so uh if we remember from last time uh philip defranco hit the museum <laughs> <laughs> sure did and, and we met mr ace detective luke at me 
and uh, oh, then we got me. I love them. And then we talked to Gumshoe, um, and before that, Miss Andrews. Which I gotta say, Kelsey, your voice is perfect for Andrews. Oh, thanks! I'm uh, trying to remember all the voices I did. I remember most of them. Oh, we could go see At Me immediately. Oh! Wait, can we not go to the... to... the police department? Nope. Weird. Oh, if we ever get stuck, we could talk to Maya. She tells you, like, hey, here's the thing you uh, might want to yes. do. That's right. I forgot oh, also, saying. whenever you go to an area and it does this, that means that's what you're supposed to do next. <laughs> cool. Whenever it shows, like, the date and then mm. you're in the right track. Hey, pal. That was that voice. Hey, Unless pal. Jack, do you want to do his voice? Welcome yeah. to the detention center. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, Jack, you haven't been with us in a while. You should be Phoenix. Okay. Also, I, I really like Gumshoe. He's just breathing really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is he doing that? He's breathing, he's breathing in the chemicals. <laughs> Imagine dragons. <laughs> oh, I'm imagining them. Mm, and dragons. <laughs> You're sure in a happy mood, aren't you? Yup. After all, we got master. Right, it's... but um, so where's the sacred urn? Sorry about that, pal. I guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. The victim. Huh? Well, I guess I should let you guys hear the story straight from the horse's mouth. The pony's mouth. <laughs> 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 you what know, if, he's right, Nick. What if he oh, I want to like be Star the Mask. Or whatever. If you think about it real hard, we are the victims. <clears throat> well, I guess so, in a way. Um... I'm so used to thinking of the victim as a dead person, because we're always on murder cases. Excuse me. Is, is that Philip DeFranco? Oh, <gasps> what if it is? But anyway, I have to get the sacred urn back. Don't just ignore me! What? Ooh. What in the JoJo? <laughs> it's George DeSand. Who are you? I, 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 I. Who's that Pokemon? I m m m mask star the mask. Okay. M m m m m m m mask mask mask. <laughs> hey Nick, doesn't he look kind of well gangly? <laughs> I didn't see the word gangly. <laughs> Is it a gang? The, the famous mask star the mask. It is Philip DeFranco. I don't it think is. this guy punches way out of a wet paper bag. Let's take a look at him. Let's take a look at this card. He's always monitoring the visitor's room. Looks nervous thing. He's supposed to be a ledge thief. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Mr. Wright? <laughs> Miles, you're on candid camera. Wow, what a reference. <laughs> that like two people would actually remember. Okay, yep. I think I did the sound. So you're the mask the mask guy? Yes, you bet. No. Oh, uh, he's you bet you betcha. Wrong. Oh yeah, you know. See, it's complicated. Hmm. Yes, it's sort of no. If you know what I mean. Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I say wrong, what I mean to say is that it's not right to say. You see, it's not spelled mask the mask, it's actually mask star the mask. What's with <laughs> this guy? He's talking in text. How do you well, say that star out loud? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you say star? It's like a. Mask 
Ooh! Look at me! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at me! Animate the crab baby too. So, why did you give yourself up? Well, you see. Oh. Oh. I know why. It's because you still suck a priceless treasure. Hi, Tender Bear. Yeah, Tender Bear. Oh, and now you're. I got. I got distracted by Tender Bear. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> she was actually dancing before she could get to the uh, the line. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Right, treasure that broken urn. Um, I have a little favor to ask. I need my bum wiped. Yeah. What Mommy. Is it? Mommy. Father. <laughs> Mommy, what have I done? Please get me the celebratory diaper! Get my daddy. D Desi? <laughs> yes, it's Nessie, but with a D. Look, we really want our urn back, so where is it? No, I'll give it back. I really will. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I like his head waggle. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's playing with his little muffins on his head. <laughs> muffins? He's got little cinnamon rolls. My like muffin. Cute. I'm just a departing people. Uh, Mr. Nick? Mr. Nick. I couldn't hear what he just said, especially the last part. Um, Mr. Damask, do you think you could speak up a little? Yeah, 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 sir, I will, I promise. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I really can't do anything. Oh, yeah, it's it's sort of faded. Yeah. Part of this charm. Mm. Mr. Damask, about the urn. Oh, yes, the urn! By the way, uh, actually, no. I mind telling you, but actually, I'm afraid you would believe me anyway. Enough already! Just tell it to us straight! Please! Please don't yell at me! Please! No. Yell at me! I, 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 I'm sorry. But, um, I, I... I lost it! That's yeah, not always lost. Oh, what, what, what? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> He's got quite the theme music. I know, right? It's great. Oh, well. What did you say? Did you say you lost it? What'd you say? You son of a bitch? <laughs> uh, no, um, maybe so. I mean, yes, I, I lost it. What do you mean? I lost it. Like I said, these things just happen. You're on the train and you get distracted and you forget your bag, you know? My urn is on the train. Yeah. What? God, our secret, our secret urn. I keep saying our secret, our secret urn. urn. <laughs> secret urn. Secret urn. Wait a minute. You went on the train dressed like that? <laughs> no, I, I, I was speaking hypothetically. That's all. He was throwing a hypothetical at you. <laughs> if you had a tiny, three-inch tall version of Hitler. <laughs> He'd lose it somewhere. He'd leave it on the train. <laughs> I'd leave him on the train. He'd want to explore the world. <laughs> Look at him. Tre He's trembling. <laughs> so He's <bad>. vibrating. <laughs> Jack, what's your trembling noise? <laughs> <laughs> on Discord, he <it> just went. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. More surreal than a dolly painting. Are you really sure this creep is masked? <laughs> I don't call him a creep. He's a weirdo. Oh, dude, what the hell is he doing here? He about this guy. He doesn't belong here. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. Oh, who is this Desi yeah. person? Don't talk about my wife like that! Please! Please! 
I guess she must be his wife. My wife! Bingo. <laughs> I'm sorry. The truth is, my wife that told me to have you all come here. Oh, do you think you could go and visit her at my hideout? Hideout? Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? So, actually, I meant to say my secret base. Patch is here! Secret base? Secret base. Secret tunnel. Hello, Madge. <laughs> well, my apartment actually. Palazzo. Pel Pepe. Third floor. Pel Pee Pee. Pel Pee Pee. <laughs> Pizza Pel Pee Pee. <laughs> it's right next to Auntie Donna. <laughs> Donna Anna. Donna. <laughs> Let's go have a look, Nick. Sonia Anna's gonna be up there too. <laughs> His wife is Sonia Anna. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Something tells uh, me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. Ooh. That's it. C can I present to you my statue? I got the statue. What? what do you think about this? I don't really think I can help you with that. <laughs> no, that's not good. Well, the um, thing is, I don't really know if I can say one way or the other. <laughs> I didn't really catch that. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. How dare you? Uh, do you think he responds to anything? No. What? No. Okay. We gotta go talk Ooh. to the wife. We gotta go talk to Donya Anna. <laughs> Donya Anna. If she even resembles Donya Anna in the smallest <laughs> way. To Desi Anna. Desi Anna, yeah. Oh, look at that. I want to that thing in the back. I what, love it. What the hell is going on here? It's, let's that's put a, a smile on. on. <laughs> this is his hideout. He imprisoned the Joker. <laughs> Check this place out. We just barged in like no one was home. Out about it. This is mass. Who's doing her D Desi's uh, voice? Kelsey, you should do it. Okay. Who oh, is it? Is that you, Ronnie? <laughs> oh. Oh. He's got a he southern accent. Uh, who are you, people? <laughs> now she's JFK. Um, yeah, she is. I'm Desiree sticking Ray with Delight? it. That's right. I'm Desiree. Ah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you must be the lawyer and the victim. Yeah, that's us. Your, your husband told us that you want us to stop by. I'm Maya Fay, and this is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nicky boy and Maya, huh? <laughs> I can't tell you how grateful I am that you decided to help my Roddy. I'd still date her with that voice. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Did she really just call me Nikki Boy? That's all I did. I, I want to look at this Joker statue. <laughs> it's Mask Bring the Mask. That's a, there's a tape recorder here from his neck. Let me see that. You want to know how I got these scars? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be taking this crown now. Better luck next time, gentlemen. <laughs> That's a good laugh. Thank you. <laughs> I don't get it. What is this supposed to be, Nick? Your doom! Looks like a rocket or a balloon. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. It's called a hot air balloon, you know. Wow. There's no fooling you. What a dick. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in it, Nick. Come on and ride it. But I'm only uh. a balloon. It's like your top secret. No, it's not. It's enough that Ron Delight really is mask. Bring the mask. <laughs> For the bring the fart. The Franco. <laughs> I was a DeFarco. The fart. The fart. <laughs> The Phil fart co? Philip the oh. fart. Art. 
and co. Oh, piled up over here. Fucking cover! It's it's a mess. <laughs> but they're not heavy enough to be real. Oh wait, they're just really well-made toys. What are these rolls of paper stuck in the trash can? Left of the Mazarin Stone. The Great Albatross Strategy. Albatross! After the Immortal Goddess Statue, the Great Knuckle Bomber Strategy. That's what I call my penis. The Knuckle yeah. Bomber Strategy? <laughs> 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 uh, no, yeah, strategy must be in there. Yes. <laughs> Did they even check this place out? Them dumb police. Oh, check dumb that dumbs. green uh, envelope. I think that's important. This? On the bottom left. Oh, this? Okay. Bottom left. Hey, Nick. Look on top of the chair. It's like it, an envelope or in the letter. It look like a man. Well, don't just stand there. Come on, let's read it. Maya, you know we shouldn't do that. It's illegal. That's illegal. What are That's you not talking about? Set. That letter could be an important clue! No way. You can't just go reading a private letter because you feel like it. Hmm. <coughs> Ooh! Just because I... Ooh! I can't do that. <laughs> Ooh! Not just because I feel like it. It really could be important. Sure it was a clue. I guess I wouldn't mind. Okay, uh, maybe not. I thought it was. We probably have to talk to Desi or something. Yeah. Probably... There are a bunch of books lying here. Cool. All romantic family novels about famous heists and fantastic thieves. Wow, look at all the bookmarks and notes stuck into them. They're like books or something. Wow. No, must remember thief's way of laughing. Very useful. <laughs> no, guard is an important part of any good thief's modus operandi. Wow, Ron really studied his stuff. <laughs> she had quite the look on her face. Yeah, what? and she wasn't even like... talking. <laughs> Nick, it's a torpedo. That's not a torpedo. It's my wife. But it sure looks real. Where could he have picked up something like this? Please don't say that torpedoes are things people should be just leave lying around. Oh, but it is. Okay, let's hear like... Oh, what? what? I want to I... examine the Akira bike on the right. There's like... Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can't... No! Oh, uh... come on. Canada! Yeah, Canada! <laughs> um, about your husband... He's a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> hey, hey, isn't he the cutest? A bit weak sometimes, though. <laughs> bear. I'll be at. By the way, did you know they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh? Really? They said you own the urn and that you're doing some shady training at a law office now. <laughs> and you're doing some shitty training. You're doing some shit. <laughs> 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 He's about to throw up. News program. After I saw that, I thought it might be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> She's slowly turning into Marvin Grossberg. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> My Ronnie, he has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. My hemorrhoids. <laughs> he kept insisting he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me. I stole that urn, he kept saying. As if it was even possible. Huh? But are you <laughs> saying he didn't? Ba ba Ring ding 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 ba <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Of course he didn't. Ah, ah, ah. 
Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, it's the priceless treasure, and he's, you know. Is it possible his own wife didn't know his secret identity? Disarray. Really? Hey! I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life! Oh. Excitement, huh? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm at my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going up Old Rotto! Yes! <laughs> Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line! You know what I mean? I think it depends on how you write it. Hmm. Come on and write it. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. And welcome to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary old life with no action. No offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk-taking type himself. All right about that. He's definitely not one for thrills and danger. Yeah, I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Eyeball, eyeball. <laughs> yes, honey. Ronnie is incredibly rich and super generous. Mm. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, mm. yeah money. Mm. He bought me a bike that's so fast it would make your head spin. Right round, right round. <laughs> and shopping. <laughs> I, <laughs> Sorry. I like to shop so much it make Ron's head spin. She would say that. <laughs> shopping. Right round, right round. <laughs> the other day it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Right oh round God. like a record baby, right round, right round. He might be possessed. <laughs> uh, He's having uh, a time. Wife. <laughs> so, where does Mr. Delight get all this money from? Ronnie is a security guard. <laughs> they put their lives on the line. <laughs> she had a stroke? <laughs> no. Shutting down. <laughs> so that <laughs> system restarting. He's a security guard. I think it's my turn for my head to spin <laughs> right round like a like a baby right round. <laughs> Can you tell us what happened last night? Mm, what time did that incident take place again? Uh, what time was it, Maya? <laughs> Well, according to the nifty cook, it's that new button in the Ah, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. Man, I was awake at 1.30 last night. Nice. <laughs> pulled over? Pull over! Yes, I always do my best flying at night. Flying? Are you talking about your motorcycle? Does it have wings? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, last night I got pulled over by a policeman. <laughs> like her Australian. <laughs> well, I can't believe he had caught up to me. It was a great chase, let me tell ya. <laughs> I'm just gonna. The Australian's easier than JFK. <laughs> when he finally caught me, the poor man was as white as a sheep. It was about three in the morning when I finally got home. I think she's got an airtight alibi. Well, what about Mr. Delight? I don't really know. We weren't together at that time of the night. Ah, when I got home, he was already fast asleep. She's got a Baron Zemo coat. That's a um, reference what is that? for anyone watching Falcon and Winter Soldier right now. Yeah, he totally does. So basically, you got no alibi. You, uh, <laughs> you, 
U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi, except I spelled ugly wrong. I said U L. Ugly. You. You ugly. Yeah, yeah. You ugly. Oh, this is nothing. Okay. Yeah. Do, yeah I don't do, think do, she do. has anything. Oh, maybe maybe do the mask. Start the mask. Uh, this thing. Envelope thing. Yeah. Whoa, what do you know about this, lady? <laughs> hey, lady! Hey, no, lady! You can't show- Hey, lady! Lady! <laughs> you can't show her that, Nick! That apple- ab 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 That apple is top secret! Don't you remember? <laughs> An apple Macintosh! Uh, yeah, Phoenix, you know, stares at her, and then looks at the apple in, in the top left corner, looks back at Maya. Oh, okay, sure. Sorry about sure. that. <laughs> Oh, when I hear the word top secret, it just piques my interest like nothing else, mate. <laughs> Earn? Earn. Woo! That's so mysterious looking. I love old stuff like this. Really? That's one of our most treasured possessions. Most valued possession? There's going to be a whole exhibit at Lonely Taylor with these types of things. Maya looks so happy. She's put up like a <laughs> thousand watt bulb. <laughs> Maya looks so happy. <laughs> Terrific! You can count on Ronnie and me to be there. Sounds like fun. Ronnie's in jail. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like the lights started to flicker. Does she not know that Ronnie's in jail? No, she does. I, I was gonna say, she like, thinks yeah, what's going on? I think she just assumes you're gonna get him out, like mm. she knows he's innocent. Oh, okay. Back. I think that's I it. I think that's yeah. it. Toshito pepper. Mm -hmm. so, all right. We gotta go to at me. Let's see. Oh Sir boy. Lord. Who's at me? That's me. Oh boy. This is the detective agency? Looks more like this out of a, some B-grade horror movie. H Hello? <laughs> is anyone here? <laughs> da da da! Looks like nobody's home. <clears throat> what a waste of time. Oh, he'll pop up. Hey, I know! Let's take that framed picture back with us as a memento. Don't you dare, Maya. <laughs> <Not crazy. laughs> Try and stop me, Kappa! <laughs> a creepy painter. It looks like he's looking right at me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I should put up a bit of the portrait of you, there, Nick. <laughs> I can even paint it for you. Maybe you can pose while cleaning the toilet. That's a really awkward position. Hey, Gerald. Think Bye, I Gerald. I'll see you, Gerald. Dignified. <laughs> Gerald. Gerald left the stream. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a mood tonight. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's called a grandma phone. <laughs> How many grandmas are in there? <laughs> no, none. It's just you have to call. You call your grandma on it. Hello, grandma. Can you hear me? Yeah. You can't be serious, grandma. What? Grandma, I... did you forget to order my? Uh, Uncle Pop again. Where's my diaper? What? <laughs> We're having our own dialogue now. <laughs> it's not. I didn't read any of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Huge hearth. Whoa, it's a huge hearth. It's a That's huge a fireplace, bitch. dummy. So, what's the difference? 
You need to stop judging <laughs> things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. See, I like that. That, that was a good joke. Right. Sorry. Mm. That's a good in-joke. It's because they do the stepladder thing in every game, and then that one popped yeah. up. Yeah. So an impressive bookshelf filled with some very impressive books. My life as an H, an H detective? Okay. <laughs> H. I, I'm going to take that one more time. My life as an ace detective. Unabridged edition. I look at me, ace detective. Where's the uh, abridged edition? Like Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. <laughs> I, I want the that. Look at me abridged edition. Look <laughs> <laughs> even got one of those shifts in the bottle thingies. Ooh. Shit in a bottle? <laughs> Ew! That's disgusting! How cute! <laughs> there's a microscope here, too, if you want to look even closer. Yeah, I'd love to. I wonder if there's corn in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's always, it's always <laughs> corn. <laughs> this one says, Let me virus. Ooh. Ooh. This, guy, <clears throat> this guy is just dying to make a name for himself, huh? It's getting kind of irritating, actually. Actually. <laughs> actually. Okay. Actually, it's getting corn irritating. Literally covered with literally? all sorts of chemistry equipment. This desk is literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Oh, I just love chemistry. Hey, Nick, I bet you didn't know this, but... Water is made up of carbon and hydrogen. No. No, no, no. Not carbon! Oxygen! Oxygen and hydrogen! I'm sorry, okay? I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> You're scaring me, Mr. Nick. I promise. I promise I won't do it again. <laughs> there are always alternative theories, I guess. Uh, she turned around real quick. By alternative right theories, round, right you round. mean the ones that you make up inside that head of yours, then yes. I think we I should keep going. There's nothing here yet. What about this Barbie head in my pocket that's not mine? Yeah, head back to the <laughs> main the theories in there. <laughs> what about this collection oh, wait, never of human mind. hands? Uh, back to the uh, jail. Um... The basement, yeah. No, the jail. The, the, the way the song starts sounds very familiar. Right. right. Nope. Um, okay, just kidding. Present the uh, pamphlet. This? Yeah. Pokemon. Was that Maybe it is Pokemon. That's ma yeah, maybe. Masks. Calling card. Pretty nice looking, huh? You look so happy. I'm very good at writing, you see. So I bought a book called How to Write Business Car Letters and studied hard. Business cards. Business card. Studied hard. Well, business I guess card. It's called <laughs> a type of thing. Now, there, there is money involved. What's the paper on the bottom right? Camera data. Camera data. Mm. Anything? Mm. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -hmm. just, he just waggles nope. his muffin tops. Waggles his muffin! <laughs> his muffin tops. Mm. What about the urn? He's not going to cause so much trouble. I'm so sorry, they should have started in the first place. <laughs> 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 what was that voice? I don't know. Right. <laughs> should I just start the first place. I'm sure the treasure owners of the other treasures feel the same. You sure seem sorry. Who would have imagined that such a famous thief would have such a pure heart? <laughs> Thank you, Phil from Hercules. <laughs> what's, what's the picture? <laughs> Grab your sword! It's right here! What's the picture? So you wanna be a hero kid? <laughs> well, whoop de doo! <laughs> whoop de doo! <laughs> oh, gee. Thanks, Thunder Bear! Bye, Thunder Bear!
What else can we do here? Let's go back to the basement, maybe? Yeah, that seems right. We haven't been there in a while. See if Andrews is there. Ooh. Or not. Or we're just alone here again. Hmm. Nope, it's the same thing. I'm going to repeat the same things I said before. Good. Okay. Okay, then let's ask Maya. Maya, what do we do? Maya, he! Maya, who? Oh, you know what? We gotta go back to your Dizzy Ray. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yes. Really? I totally forgot this one. You present uh, profile. So we need to present. Uh, oh! Ah! Uh, Thank you. A Mr. White, you must know, right? About your husband and Mask. Bling, the Mask. Philip DeFranco. Mask, what do I ask? Oh, mask. of course. Bring the mask. Of course. I know all about it. <laughs> My husband is his biggest fan. Yeah, what? Huh? Bitch! Biggest fan? Yes, and Rona can be pretty delusional sometimes. <laughs> That's how this whole misunderstanding happened. Wait a minute. Did you just say delusional? That's right. I just don't know what I'm going to do with him. I guess I'll put him down. You see, Ronnie actually believes that he is Mask the Mask. <laughs> oh. What, what, what? what are you talking about? Mm. What? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. When did Ronnie first become masks? What do you mean the mask? <laughs> what are you talking about? He's no mask the mask. Hey, Rich Smith. Thanks for the follow. And then leave there you are. Oh, that's all right. But the, <laughs> hey, the fact that they're surpri or surprising, they're supporting me. <laughs> you can join and leave all you want. Follow the stream. Look around this room. This place is obviously mask bring the masks hideout. No, no, you're totally wrong, mate. Real thief's hideout wouldn't look like this. Because Ronnie is so timid himself that he looks up to heroic figures. Heroic figures? But Mask... Bing, the Mask is a bad guy. Or well, he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway, if he really had stolen the urn, wouldn't he still have it? Well, I suppose... Why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? There's a point. Mr. Delight isn't exactly the criminal type, but we did ask him. <laughs> Lost it. But something about Ron's behavior bothers me. Maybe it's those muffin tops. <laughs> it's his muffins. <laughs> Maybe it's true. Maybe Mr. Delight isn't masked to mask after all. Say, so, can I ask you something, Nicky boy? What? I <laughs> know, oh, I might seem like a bad girl. What was that? Bad girl. Bad girl on the outside. <laughs> bad girl. Eek, eek. The one thing I won't stand for is illegal activity. I had the feeling you didn't. You're tough. But I can tell you've got a good heart. 
Somebody framed my poor Ronnie. I just know it. I actually got a bad heart. I ate all this pork before I did anything in my 16 years. <laughs> She's 16 years old? <laughs> yes. No. Um, did you give this to Ronnie for me? Ronnie's not only a criminal, he's a pedophile. I don't want that. <laughs> a letter? A plot twist, he's also 16. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's not so bad now. Yes, for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Mr. Light. Okay, you've got it. Just relax and leave it all to us. I got her a letter. Dee doo dee. Doo 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 doo. I wish she was in this more because I like doing her voice so much. <laughs> <laughs> so then we go back, back here. Present the letter. I have a letter. Um, present the letter. Tom. Wrong letter. <laughs> right, I totally forgot. Here, this is from your wife. Here is from, this from your wife. wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Jaxie. <laughs> <laughs> or like taken. How did he do that? He's behind glass. Yeah. My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. Oh, wait, I guess I yeah, should try well, and do his version. Bye, My dear Ronnie, Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing <laughs> fine. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Clutching onto the letter so hard that ink is going to squeeze out. I don't, um, think, I don't think they can actually have him. He looks so happy. You should write a letter to Mystic Maya too, Mr. Nick. He Wait, broke his own neck. <laughs> yeah, he won. He's dead now. Um, Mr. Lawyer. He's speaking from beyond the grave. <laughs> yeah. The letter that Dizzy wrote, she said, uh, ask, this, ask this guy to be your lawyer. <laughs> huh? What? Oh, Me? I know. This would be asking a lot, but could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow! Hey, hang on a second. He can't be your lawyer. Why? <laughs> why? What do you mean, why not? You're the victims in this case, right? Victims of the, the Damask guy. Yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. She said, Poor man, she's deluded himself into thinking he did it. Right, Mr. Nick? Come on, she could be lying to protect her husband. You really think that? <laughs> well, that's true, or uh, not, actually not. Actually, it's hard to say. Oh no, it's spreading! Oh god, it's a virus! Ah. Give me your choice in return! Hmm, what should I do? Treasure? Refuse. Okay. Refuse. Refuse. I refuse it? Refuse. I don't know what happens if you refuse it. Um. Let me save stated. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good, very good. Don't do it, Nick. <laughs> Mr. Nick, I agree with Mystic Maya. I admit something about this guy stinks like last week's sushi. Mm. So I really I'll should eat say last no. week's sushi. What? Don't do that. The poor guy will have nobody on his side. Nobody's on nobody. Now, Mr. Delight, I decided to not take your case. <laughs> Mr. Nick, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you so hard. <laughs> You're gonna, gonna wish I didn't you? punch you so hard. Lucy, I thought you said I'm gonna bite you so hard. I'm gonna bite you so hard. Bite you with my fist. I will bite you with my wrist. <laughs> I can't believe you defend this person after what he did to Mystic Maya. 
I'll never forgive you ever. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's big in Japan. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where? B. Pearly. B. Going to be ugly. That's Ulgi. Oh. It's going to be Ulgi. <laughs> it's going to be Ulgi. I'll go after her. We we said we refuse. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you did, you son of a bitch. Look what you made me do. Oh, look what you, <laughs> you made me known. do. Look what, what you that. made me do. I might what as well start investigating. Do. Guess I might as well start investigating. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> she died off screen. <laughs> she can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because she's dead. <laughs> I love a good tie-in. We'll check on her later, would you? Wasn't that an old PSA? I don't know. No, that's from the song that we were just singing, the Taylor Swift song. Oh my god, that's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with me taking this case? Or... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. Good, because I don't. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you do. I think I'm gonna cry. I'm supposed to be dead right now. Shut up! <laughs> I, um, I know you have a lot of work to do. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, Nick, let's get this show on the road. Okay. Move to the office. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pearl, you alive? Oh, she's alive. <laughs> ah, Mr. Nick. Welcome back. Oh, hey, well, uh, I guess you're back too, I see. I'm a pretty little girl. I, uh, I went and bought us a strawberry cake. I'll go make some tea and go with it. With my fist. <laughs> uh, pearls? I'm gonna heat it up with my sheer will to succeed. <laughs> my rage. <laughs> Looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. Whoop! This Flash just back. happened a minute ago. <laughs> it's I okay, swear, I'll kill you. I'll, kill me, I'll never forgive you, and then I will die, and you'll feel really bad. <laughs> nope, I'm here, Mystic Maya. The tea is ready. Oh, thanks. Come on, Mister Nick. Please, have some of this cake that I didn't poison. Yeah, thanks. Uh, no thanks. Pearls? Oh, excuse me. I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet with my Whoa. fist. <laughs> it's just her, her hitting for everything. <laughs> She's just punching everything. <laughs> yep, that's all she does. Uh, just cleaned it this morning. <laughs> She just goes from the other room and just... <laughs> it's part of her training as a future shonen protagonist. It's over. Too late. She beat him up. I also like how this game literally just forces the toilet cleaning thing to be a thing. It's true. There's part no context. Like, it's not like an inside joke. They're just like, this is a thing now and you and you have to accept it. It's part of the main story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I first met Pearls a year ago. When she was born. It was when the murder happened in Corain Village. I still remember what she said to me when we first met. You, you're Mr. <laughs> Nick, right? <laughs> you're, you're Mystic Maya's special someone. <laughs> But you'll drop one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Maya, I'm sorry. Because she was young, but. 
But what? Charles, I think he's got the wrong idea about you and I. We're, we're like uh, not a thing. Uh, I, <laughs> um, there's, there's something you need to understand. What? I'm a furry! <laughs> um, it's kind of like a Korean village custom, sort of, to be a furry. <laughs> Pearl seems to love you a lot. Probably not because well, you're family. Because I'm her only cousin, <laughs> and well, because of the murder case last year, Pearlie's mother is. Oh, bitch. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> totally forgot about. I'm now Kool Aid Man. <laughs> I remember now. Pearl's mother, Morgan Fay, killed Morgan Maya's Fay. mother. She's serving prison term in isolation right now. This is the biggest hair. That big big hair. hair! So you see, I'm the only family Pearly has right now. But it's the same for me, too. My, uh... He... My, My uh... mother's Ooh. gone, too. Ah, uh, yeah, ha, ha, you know? <laughs> there are hardly any men in Kareem Village. Oh, it's like Wonder Woman. Yeah, it's like the Gerudos. Yeah, I never actually saw any men there when I visited. Mm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure I told you about it a long time ago, but you never listen. <laughs> so here I am again. <laughs> Woohoo! I love this. I love this about our relationship. But her spiritual <laughs> powers run very strong in the Fey family. Yeah, you did. That's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit medium, right? Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. And, and only, only you can prevent forest fires. Yeah. That's what the men do. The women train and the men prevent forest fires. <laughs> That's why the whole culture of Korean Village kind of revolves around its women. Hmm. Well, it's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Why would there be something wrong with it, Phoenix? <laughs> I, don't like those I don't like those implications. <laughs> yeah, but because of that... Tread very carefully, Phoenix. <laughs> Tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. <laughs> well, men start to feel left out after a while, and then they just start leaving. Fragile Especially egos. If has a daughter. Are you saying that girl's father is gone? He left the village when she was very young. Dead. Boy, that's tough. Boy! Howdy! <laughs> my boy! My yeah, boy. Link my boy! But, <laughs> but unhappy marriages all around her. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. My ha ha! My ha ha! The mother's still missing, huh? I'm trying to remember if haha -ha is another word for mother or father in Japanese. I don't know. It's either Chi Chi or haha. -ha. Yeah, no one has any idea where she is. I think it's father. <laughs> Thanks, narrator. The current master of the current channeling technique. Our narrator's Thanks. waking up! <laughs> She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain police case. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> police case. He was Rodney King. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's still alive, right? Yeah. Uh, I know she is. It's sort of a spirit medium thing. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> and if your mother doesn't come back, then what? What? And according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Next Pokemon master! I want to be a Pokemon master! Sick fire. 
the master of the Korean technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Master of the Korean technique. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the Fey main family who's a spirit medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? I'm getting very depressed over here. We're not going to learn anything just sitting around the office. Talking about dead parents and parents being in jail and parents leaving and divorce, it's not a happy conversation. Look, if we keep oh. talking about dead parents, then the guy from Shenmue is just going to show up and depress everyone even more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Mr. Dick? I broke the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I punched what? it into submission. <laughs> I acted like a little baby. Pearls. I doubted you, and even though Mystic Maya trusted you completely, I guess I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Dick. Uh, yeah? I, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. I'll punch the submission. I'll punch this submission. I'll punch myself. I punched myself into my submission. Self. Well, I'm going out now for a smoke. <laughs> Wait, you smoke? I may be small, but I have a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna show you I can be useful too by finding more cigarettes. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> she runs fast for a smoker. <laughs> Nick, let's back off and give her some room, okay? <laughs> You're gonna let her run out there. <laughs> sure. Why not? Man, I thought Sherlock right. was bad. The main exhibition hall. <laughs> I thought Sherlock was bad for hiring urchins to do his bidding. <laughs> right. They're just gonna let that tiny child out and do whatever. Hey, but we didn't hire her. Yeah. Oh. Maya. Oh, Miss Andrews. So sorry, it's my fault. Her precious urn. Precious. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Donald Duck? Oh! <laughs> that sounded like Donald Duck for a second. Precious <laughs> urn! <laughs> so <laughs> it never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. Maya, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. Anything? No, it's okay. I know I don't look it, but I'm good with my hands. Oh. I'll make you another urn. Oh. Hold on, just wait, okay? Please calm down and talk to us. <laughs> and use Forgive your hands. Me. Forgive me. Uh... Yes. So when did you get this calling card from Mask? Mm -hmm. The Mask. Let's see. Exactly ten days ago. I was going to show it to the police, but that detective stopped me. Um, so you asked Detective at me to help with security. Yes. In fact, it was about 20 days ago that I hired him. He seemed to know much more about Mask Bring the Mask than the police. So you hired him for security even before the calling card arrived? Well, yes. I had a premonition that something bad might happen. I've learned to trust my hunches. I learned to trust my punches. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why there are security cameras even in the basement warehouse. Yes, Lordly Taylor is very serious about their security measures. It was their way of saying, bring it on to any potential thieves. Ooh, that's a movie. Well, he sure brought it last night. He's been <laughs> 
with a knife. I hope your neighbors can hear that. Yeah, I hope so too. Oh my gosh. Um, can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault. I never should have called this paltry little collection a treasure exhibit anyway. Why didn't you say that? That room was stolen. Uh, the room was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but its actual value after appraisal, well, was practically zero. Zero! I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. But that urn contains the soul of mystic Tina Fey. <laughs> anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective at me. But. 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 And a big butt indeed. <laughs> Five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit items from Corrine. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually mask bring to mask in disguise. No. I personally checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. Knowing Adrian, he probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. Oh. Alright. That's it. Let's go talk to Great. Detective at me. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Actually, we're kind of... Shh! Silence! Silencio! <laughs> Precisely as I expected. <laughs> Well, what is? Zvari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I correct? Um, I think we've already been through this. Ha! So, my estimation was correct! Zvari! How truly elegant. I love now then, point. what can I do for you? I keep thinking when he says Savari, I keep thinking of Sabaro, the fatty pizza place. Sabaro! <laughs> pizza! I mentioned before that you were on guard all alone last night. Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. Arch enemy. Arch enemy! I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after a mask, bring the mask since his very first theft. Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. At this very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Emanon. Oh. I first encountered... Where did that choir come from? I first encountered him in the museum's <laughs> sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So that's why you were hired as security for the treasure exhibit. Surely he said An Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lordly Taylor and set the perfect trap. You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself, too. So how did Mask Bring the Mask manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. 
What is the mass modus operandi? You know I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> um, Mr. Atney, <laughs> did you know about the sacred urn? I am interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is mask. Bring the mask. Sacred urn. <laughs> that has nothing to do with this case. Wasn't that what mask bring the mask stole this time? Mm. I am a hunter, sir. <laughs> the urn has nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. Anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. Um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. There's my eye! After all, my eye is bulging. We are all but seekers wandering alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering how Mask to Mask managed to steal the urn. Help, I'm in the dark! I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? I can't even see! Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were off guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep. You should have at least seen Mask Blaine the Mask. Dot, dot, dot. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a psyche lock! psyche lock! She's summoning cats. Yeah, they put up the chains. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, Nick, what is this psyche lock thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. Don't you remember in the last game? <laughs> what? This Magatama has that kind of power? I shouldn't have given it to you. <laughs> no, no, no. Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magatama last year. I know. <laughs> well, it's true that this Magatama is a prized fa family heirloom. <laughs> but... Harley was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? With my fist! Punched it! Yeah! She punched <laughs> it really hard and it started glowing. It was wild. Why I don't really know much about what it can do. This is the woman that's going to take over the Korean channeling school someday? Yeah, she's the next Hokage. Yeah, she is. <laughs> next Hokage? <laughs> so how do you do it? How do you break the Psyche Lock thing? A little late for a tutorial, isn't it? Well, you present the Magatama to the person with All the right. secret. They stare at it and they're like, what the hell is this? And then... <laughs> boom. And then it just happens. Oh boy! I think the future master so needs to learn how to be patient. Oh. Alright, present that thing. <laughs> present, present this, uh... That thing. This raver object. Take that! Detective Abby, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Mask start a mask commit the crime. <laughs> no I'm tired way. of saying bring. Well no, I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse, that much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. Sure why, but this admin guy is lying through his teeth. And his nose. Mm -hmm. I know. And his eye. I'll show him proof. Take it at me, I have here proof that someone went through the door last night. It's a camera thing, right? Correct. Take that! Take that! 
There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. You knew this. They should have had... They should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. Wah! Wah! <laughs> but my monocle didn't catch anyone in its flash. It must have been some kind of computer malfunction. It, it must be true. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Ace, you're not so ace anymore, huh? <laughs> must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. He's the thief, he's the thief. And I've got just no. a piece of evidence to prove it. No way. Okay. Let's suppose you didn't manage to see Matt's blatant damask. <laughs> Philip DeFranco. In that case, the reason you didn't at the time was because you were... Unconscious? Unconscious? It did mention a bathroom down there. No, he didn't go to the bathroom. Were... He was unconscious. Hmm. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. Um. Is it the sword? Yeah, because it it's bent. Mm. Hey, Dad! Ah, the Turn it away, you were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? Ha <laughs> ha Surely you must be joking! You think that I, Luke at me, could be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. That's... For the theft, the sword was in the hand of the statue of Amy Faye. Tina Faye. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bad. I saw it myself. <laughs> so you're a bitch. Ah! Er! Ah! E! Ah! Ooh! Ah! There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by a sword because you was a bitch. Well, detective, what about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Behold my heart! <laughs> I want to date you! Let's go date! Can't deny that the small hint of passion in my heart for you. <laughs> <laughs> it burns. So, you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you. Clobber. What an ugly way of saying it, but I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No. The coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts, or the sewer pipes, or... He's Ant-Man. Then, my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind. This gruesome item here. Ouch, he should have his poor head examined. Am I right? <laughs> I can say that again. <laughs> How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? <laughs> Shit. Sh Shit. Sh Shit. Chichichito. Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? That means the greatest de ace detective in the world? Greatest? The greatest thing? detective. <laughs> no, that he never actually saw the thief. Stupid. Oh. <laughs> That's right. So the thief may not even be mask. Bring the mask. 
Just one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably mask. Ring the mask. You never actually saw him, idiot. Perhaps idiot. But I installed a security camera for just a contingency. Just a contingency. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold! This is the photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. Pokemon ass music. <laughs> <laughs> This is very the similar mask, to Pokemon. The mask. Oh, that wasn't even at midnight yet. Oh, it wasn't. Good the catch. thief can be none other than the arch criminal. Mask the... The mask. <laughs> After <That's> all... <laughs> I ran out of sound effects. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such brazen crimes. Raisin crimes? What, what, what are you talking about? Raisin crimes! Raisin crimes! <laughs> so, what do you mean he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. So you need to go that? and investigate. But how would you know about that? Hmm. Oomph! Have you forgotten? <laughs> You're speaking to the finest ace. Detective, ever to walk on the face of the earth. <laughs> the most brilliant mind since well ever. Luke, at me. <sighs> well, I guess we better go take a look just in case. Let's oh. go. <laughs> Let's present. Let's present. Presenting. Green Same. Envelope! It's the next Smash Brothers DLC. <laughs> Green Envelope, my favorite Green character. Envelope! <laughs> hey Nick, remember what Detective Atme said? Oh, I completely forgot. I just said this a moment ago. Perhaps you should punch yourself. Psh, psh, to punch I'm you. sorry. <laughs> Find the small girl to punch you. Hmm. <laughs> A green envelope, huh? Looks just like this. <laughs> it looks okay. like a green envelope. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. But the picture was done at midnight or less. The picture was at... Uh... Two minutes before one. Um, midnight 48 or 58. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the blackmail letter. Black blackmail. <laughs> like a major clue, all right. I got the green. I'm getting a major clue right now. Ding dong. It, ding dong and Julian. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Coffee. Really? Okay. I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Who is this? Wait a minute. I know that voice. Is it Butts? <clears> Hi, <throat> oh, Nicky boy. I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah! <laughs> it's <laughs> Butts. You, my, you, what a fluke! Ah, 
Larry, long time no see. What? You know each other? Nicky boy. Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? Something? Uh, I didn't to make you, Nick. A gorgeous lady like this and married too? Way to go, dude! Like, way to go, Scoo! Like, the way to go! I guess that's what I should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. We've, we've shown each other right there. Hey, yeah, let's start! It wasn't my, nice. I was your very first client. Been 25 years since I first met Larry. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Oh, ho, ho. butts. Hey, come on now. You're embarrassing me. But I'm trying this pretty lady thing here. Lady thing. Lady thing. <laughs> so, you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You do go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. <laughs> I'm gonna go have sex with my bike. <laughs> I'm gonna I check out that... my bike. <laughs> oh, how you been, Nick? Too busy if you really want to know. Oh, we really have to talk to Larry? Oh, yes. Larry's yep. in every game. Yeah, he is. So what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. So what have you been up to? And what's with these clothes? You look, well, weird. Hey man, that's uncalled for. It's my uniform for my part-time job. But I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> What 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 what? <laughs> what, what, what? I tell what, you, what, what? I don't trust him anymore. <laughs> Thanks. You got dumped again, didn't you? Well, you know, Benifer. I followed her all the way to Tibet two years ago. You made that name up. That's where I met the famous Caddy Tom. And my whole life changed. Is is that like a? Tom Cruise, Katie Holmes sort of reference. I think so. Yeah, Benifer, Caddy Tom. Yeah. I've never heard of either of them. Anyway, Caddy no! Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Well, actually. Actually. Anyway, it sounds like you had quite the adventure. Actually. Actually. There's no so. Ah! They're so oh. feminine. But, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. You don't have big boobs. <laughs> hey. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. Stinky Larry. Are you here? <laughs> what you do? B huh? What, what, what do you mean by that? I'm just a nature, uh, natural born nice guy, that's all. <laughs> Well, actually, I picked up this last night while I was working. It's herpes. <laughs> herpes? You say you found this last night? <laughs> it's an papilloma virus. <laughs> yeah, it had the driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. I got a venereal disease scoop. <laughs> like, scoop, I'm gonna get out of this one. They call it the clap. <laughs> Hang on, let me see that. And take it and keep it. <laughs> I knew it! Desi's picture's in here! Yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? Hey, Nick! It's not what you're thinking at all! No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed at all. Ah, no way, man! I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. He really is here just to check out Miss Delight. So you said you found it at your job, right? 
Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Hey, hey Coach. Did you do it in the chat? Hello. <laughs> Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? Ugh. A uh, security guard, huh? So that's what the uniform is all about. Want it. Want it. Want it. So what time was it when you found us last night? Huh? What are you asking that? Trying to see if I got an alibi? An alibi? An alibi? <laughs> um, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of our company building. Weird. Oh, thanks for the follow! What was Mr. D-Light's wallet doing? Anyway, Much appreciated. There's nothing weird, weird about that. Nothing weird at all. Nothing at all. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight. Oh. Sure. Here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. Right there in his handy dandy notebook. It's human papilloma. <laughs> this card. It's a key card for the security company. It's key a card. green card. Hey, it's got a serial number on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. But why are you making that, that scary face? Security company, huh? That's <laughs> not quite secure. Oh, Larry working there. Something's not quite secure. <laughs> this not so secure, weird. like my sentences in like, my brain. Not at all. With Larry. I'm so mad, I'm so mad, I'm so oh, mad. I do find out about the camera. Good, how you doing, couched? Couched. Alright. Hey, we got a key good. card. We stole it. Good, good to hear. It says you keep coming and going. Yeah, I, I think that's something with the Caster Labs app or whatever. It, it has this weird way of saying someone joined and left. Weird. <laughs> I'm starting to talk like Pearl normally. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't even do that voice. Alright, so where do we go uh, from here, Jack? Present the key card to Larry. Oh, really? We're still talking to this guy? Yeah, it's Larry. Classic Larry. So you're sure about this key card, right? Yep, that's the key card they use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. Awkward. You needed to get into the, that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record? This one's the White Album. <laughs> yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data. What if Larry... Now, listen to me. Hold, hold out for just a minute. What if Larry were a cucumber? Whoa. Dude, you can't Slow bring down, stuff up like that out of the blue. You gotta warn me first. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that, whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data is off limits. If I lost his, this job, I'd never have a chance with Desi. If I had a girlfriend, she'd kill me! <laughs> Times like these when I wish lawyers were so powerless. Update the key card. Woohoo! Now we can leave. Beans. Now we can leave. Where do we Wait. go? Ah! Present the blackmail letter. Mm. Blackmail? That one. Blackmail. Blackmail. Hey Larry, what about this? What? If you got something to say, then say it already! Huh? A blackmail letter?! <laughs> Do you know anything <laughs> about this? <laughs> oh, Alexis! And that's the truth! <laughs> Alexa? <laughs> he's having- he's dating what? the Amazon Echo Dot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you do this to me! I thought you were my friend! Fifteen thousand dollars? I don't have that kind of money. Uh, uh, don't understand. This blackmail letter was such a raw delight. Delight. 
Groove is in the heart. <laughs> Man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack, you idiot. Wait, I'm the idiot? Man, I was totally confused. But it says KB Security right on the envelope. Oh? Um, uh, yeah, so what? Well, that's where I got my part-time job, at KB Security. What? Hey, what? Say what? That sounds like I should really find out some more about that company. We should call Marvin Grossberg. Yeah, Marvin. Uh, ask him, talk to him one more time. <laughs> KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Mm. So what are you doing here then? Well, the boss is away right now, and if you know what mice do when the cat's away... Stalk women! Yep. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see, about 30 minutes by car, I guess? Well, if you fly down the road, anyway. Mm. Well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lord Lee Taylor, right? Take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and- Oh, I hate math problems. How many bottles of shampoo? <laughs> <laughs> if I had 80 watermelon, and my friend Johnny got 20 watermelon, how many watermelon would I have left? One fist up your bum hole! <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He couldn't have stolen the sacred herd with a fist up his bum hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick, your phone. Uh, wait. wait. Uh, hello? Is this the right residence? Pearls, this isn't a residence, it's a cell phone. I, I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to try and get some more clues, but I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What? Give me that phone, Nick. <laughs> Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. A person? Who? Um, that person that doesn't act his age and always says <laughs> Sparrows when he's excited. Sparrows. Luke at me, ace detective. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. Alright. Uh, I'm a little scared. He's kind of pedophile-like. God. His eye is really big. <laughs> All right, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. <laughs> Let me show whoa, you. Whoa, something. what? That phone call just now sounded like real, like sounded real oh. cute, like a real cutie. <laughs> sounded like real cutie. <laughs> sounded like real cutie. <laughs> he's, he's apparently turned on by one a little girl to a little girl that sounds like Harvey Firestein. <laughs> Say goodbye to Mr. Delight for me, would you, Larry? Falls out a gun. <laughs> Say goodbye! <laughs> Larry Butts didn't kill himself. <laughs> Alright. Where are we going? Yeah, we need detective agency to get pearls. To take his pearls? To take his pearls. <gasps> <laughs> ah, Mr. Dick! Oh, I'm not on the phone anymore. <laughs> Early! <laughs> I never thought I'd see the two of you again. Punching yourself. I'm punching the tears <laughs> away. <laughs> so is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes. When I arrived here, there wasn't a single soul in sight. So you just entered without permission. I sure did. 
<laughs> broke and entered. Okay. Um, say, Nick, doesn't it look like something's changed since we were here last? Talking about the screenshot? Because there's a bag in the center. Now that you <laughs> mention it. Everything else looks fine. What's in the bag? What's in the bag. box? I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. Hey, Nick! C come on! Open it up! Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open up his private property. Don't be such a funny daddy. This is an important investigation. She said a bad word. Yeah, I'll say it again. And truth be told, I have to admit I am kind of curious. Well... What's in there? Hang on a sec. I'm taking. I'll keep it out saying now. it until you take it off. <laughs> buddy, daddy, buddy, diddy, buddy, daddy, buddy, diddy. <laughs> no, stop it. She's Whatever stuck. It, is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. This is not for little children. Well, hello there. It was at me. He was in there. <laughs> Look, he's in the bag. <laughs> it's my clown bag. What are you doing, sir lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. I thought that said fragrantly. So <laughs> fragrantly. Smell really nice. <laughs> it smelled very good. Uh, my it smelled Lady very Dylan. well. <laughs> She's a witch. I can't believe you. A gentleman never uses a lady as his excuse for his own pure behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging about here? What do you mean by that? As in, there's a little girl here. Stop gagging her. Oh, oh God. perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial, Sparos! <laughs> Shall we say the figurative Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? What? <laughs> wow, Nick, sounds like it's going to be really exciting, whatever that means. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, what? <clears throat> Going to happen. What is this panty dropping thing you're talking about? Do you know what your <laughs> biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Dick. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a day to remember. I, Luke at me, will take the stand. And then, Sparos will be served. My testimony <laughs> will prove to be the undoing of the lot of you. Over some pizza that only cost five dollars. Yes, all of you! Five dollar hot and ready. I will unmask you as the these co-conspirators. Oh, the co co co-conspirators. <laughs> <laughs> You're quick on the defensive, I see. However, it is not I that is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? The judge will have a gun and pizza. Sir Lawyer, <laughs> if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godot. No way. Godot? You have taken a step down the path of foolishness. To try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight is really Damask. <laughs> My dear lady, times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Um, who is this Godot person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Godot 
or Gadot, whatever you want to pronounce it as. The prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. Godot. A legend or myth. Men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance to simply meet him. Prosecutor. Best prosecutor in the country isn't Godot, it's Mr. Edward. Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But ace prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. Huh? Traveling with abroad? Yes. In Ooh. fact, they are in Paris, France. <laughs> they see London. They see France. They see Williams oh, underpants. Williams Good job, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good bit. In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Godot as the best in this country. And you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke Atomy of the Prosecutor's Office. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, I'm going to punch the shit out of this Godot guy. But is he really that strong? I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. That he's uh, not very strong. Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting <laughs> for his appearance. That's funny. <laughs> Do you guys know the reference? No. Waiting for Godot. It's like a famous like play where it's oh. like these guys. Yeah, and they just stand around. The whole play is people standing around and like talking about their lives and they're waiting for this guy who never shows up. Gotcha. Uh, well, that's awesome. That's, that's a good reference. Clever. That's really, really good. I was, I was like hoping they would do that, and they did. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so, lawyer, the stage has been set, and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is my eye. Oh no. I see you. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. Got new prosecutor in our name. New prosecutor. <laughs> 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 one tough trial. He's just saying, like, are, are you going to say anything? <laughs> He's just staring at him. Can you... Stones. I, I really have to take a shit. Can you please leave? I'm pooping. I'm holding it in. Please, I'm, I'm clearly docking it. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating. <Earth> crowning. <laughs> no. Do not, oh, do not make haste to enter the room. On. I had Taco Bell for lunch. Uh, I don't know why I clicked yes. It's not like we, we can actually save it. Right. All right. Save state. Haboof. Oh boy. Okay. That's good. After Kelsey, our guards came back. Hey! I love that. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was another good episode. I was like, we are really close to the end of the investigation phase, so we need to finish this. So I know. It was, it was right there. Yeah. Good timing, guys. Good timing. Well, ah. anyone that's still in the chat, thank you for watching. And for anyone watching in the future, thank you for watching. Subscribe and like. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, um, Kelsey, you got anything to promote? Um, I just posted a new little art thing because I've been praying. I've been praying. Um, I've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild lately, Ooh, so nice. I did a little a little Breath of the Wild art piece. It's not very exciting, but it's it's not like not exciting. It is exciting. It was fun, but it's not like a big elaborate thing. It's just a little just a little fun doodle, like poster style, Ooh, doodle, and that is doodle. on my Instagram and Tumblr right now. That's kelatonin.tumblr.com. Yep. What's and your then, What's your Insta? My art Instagram, I'm trying to post on it more because I'm really bad at it, is at Kelatonin underscore draws. Look, man, there's there's a lot to keep track of for social media and all those apps, so no one's going to hold it against mm -hmm. you for not posting stuff often. Many apps. At least I don't 
hold it against you. I've got an Instagram for the cats, and I don't post every day. There are weeks well, where I go without posting anything about the cats. <laughs> just how it happens. Yeah, you know, and you make content every day, so. Mm. Well, I don't know how I make content. <laughs> I make content sometimes. I'll punch <laughs> your content every day if you really want. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Jack, what about you? You got something new going on with the, the JRPG book club. Uh, yeah, speaking of Zelda, uh, my next uh, Jack's Jukebox is Zelda-inspired games. Yeah. Woo! Uh, so you can check out some uh, really cool games um, that uh, were inspired by Zelda, like gameplay-wise, um, and uh, some really good music. Ooh. Oh, that's really cool. Hey, Jack, I've got a... It just popped in my head. I've got a topic that you might be interested to do sometime. Sure. Um, there's a... So, you know in Wind Waker that some of the music is Ocarina of Time's music, but, like, re, repurposed? Mm-hmm. How often does that happen? Not just in the uh, Zelda franchise, but in, like, other series, like Star Fox, for example, or... Uh, it happens quite often, actually. That, that, that's actually, I, I totally see what you're going with that. That's a really neat yeah. topic. Okay. Um, Not to, like, diminish from, to detract from uh, your your current uh, upcoming topic, because that is a really good thing. There's a lot of good Zelda-like games and Zelda inspirational things. Uh, but I, I think that would be interesting for uh, anyone to look up in the read as well too well oh uh, that's that i'm yeah i love ideas so that i'm totally gonna use that one i'm gonna steal it mm. thank you mark I, i'm not even asking for money because that's what <laughs> friends do you can punch money if you want uh yes <laughs> check out jrpgbookclub.com for their podcast and the upcoming um jack's jukebox post lots of good recommendations historically so you can expect some wonderful content from jack here uh, as for me, we are continuing to talk about FIV throughout the month of April. I know it's about halfway done, but I'd still like to keep this going. Next month, we're going to talk about uh, Shade Out DM again, because they reached out cool. to me and were like, hey, can you talk about this thing that's happening? I go, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Um, hey, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you're Sweet. working more directly with them. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to reach out to more charities and more causes and stuff, so... Hopefully, I can actually get a schedule sometime throughout this year, so I know which month is devoted to which, and I'm not just winging it last second, you know. But, uh, yeah, you know, FIV is a real important thing to us, because we adopted an FIV-positive cat, and you know, we can't imagine our lives without her. So, um, they are hard to adopt out. A lot of shelters are having trouble getting them to be adopted because people don't know much about the virus. So if you can spread mm -hmm. any information that you read about or you learn from us, that'd be much appreciated. If, uh, if one person spreads the word to someone else, then that's good enough for me. But if you want more information, more literature, go to alleycat.org. They have a ton of good stuff to read. You can also just do a basic google search for feline immunodeficiency virus be careful not to put fev because that's a fallout term <laughs> you'll you'll pick up fallout 76 and fallout 1 and 2 and that's not something that you oh, no. you're not gonna get that for your cat is all i'm saying no i mean maybe 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 <laughs> Uh, but that's it for today's episode. I appreciate Jack and Kelsey for joining me on this particular yeah. episode. This is wonderful. Always great to do voice acting with you too. Uh, we will be back next week, hopefully Wednesday, 6 p.m. Central, again here on Caffeine, and with uh, hopefully more recordings. Um, still on the fence on the last recording, but whatever. Anyway, we'll see you guys around. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>